Hello everyone. Today I'm here to talk about my education ka channel. I'm Samnan Suleiman, currently pursuing third year of BBA LLB at Savita School of Law. So, BBA LLB is an integrated 5-year course where I get to study both uh, BBA as well as LLB within a short span of 5 years. So, as you all know, uh, BBA is the Bachelor of Business Administration where I get to study the different concepts as well as the different branches and disciplines of management like uh, manage uh, managerial accounting financial management marketing management production and operation management as well as entrepreneurship development so not only does it help me to hone my skills as an entrepreneur but it also helps me understand the different concepts of management which uh, is applicable in our day to day life and llb as you all know is the bachelor of law where i get to study the different disciplines as well as the different branches and aspects of laws like uh, in- international law civil law criminal law uh, constitutional law as well as administrative law so in the current scenario uh, is it's very important um as citizens of india that we are well aware of the laws that are being imposed on us and we should we must also be well aware of the rights that are available to us and what is to be done when such rights are violated so uh, that was one of the main reasons why i got into the course of uh, bba llb and uh, not only this bba llb also has amazing uh, dual job opportunities where i can uh, where i can get a uh, job uh, opportunities in the field of uh, bba as well as in the field of law and both of these courses that is both bba as well as llb are courses which are complementary to each other where i can apply the concepts of law and the concepts of management interchangeably so this definitely widens my uh, job opportunities or career opportunities once i graduate my uh, bba llb now uh, even though i may have gotten into a course that is completely unrelated to chemistry uh, that doesn't mean that i didn't need chemistry in my life so i was a science student uh, back in 11th and 12th grade in particular i was a bio math student so i faced uh, difficulties in studying chemistry in the beginning of 11th grade uh, so that is when i got into my chemistry classes with radha ma'am which completely changed my um, entire perspective or outlook on the subject of chemistry so uh, she was the one who had helped me study uh, and understand all those difficult concepts of uh, chemistry and i definitely owe it all to her not only did she help me understand the difficult concepts of chemistry but uh, she also made sure that i enjoyed it that i enjoyed the learning uh, process and the learning experience with her and um, no matter how hard the concepts of chemistry uh what she made sure that i underst- understood those concepts with ease and that i was able to um, apply those concepts while writing my exams so definitely it was only because of radha ma'am that i was able to uh, ace my high school exams and graduate with amazing marks so definitely i owe it all to her now um once i started studying with radha ma'am i completely enjoyed studying chemistry and also there's something very fascinating in studying about the different reactions between different molecules and the kinds of cause and effect reactions which you can't predict if you didn't know about it so chemistry as you all know has definitely become an essential it's an essential essential part of our daily lives from the medicines we intake to the compositions of the multiple beauty products or the dishes that we encounter and we make every day and uh, chemistry has always been something which uh, stimulates uh, the mind and helps you understand the different reactions that is taking place on our uh, day to day basis so even though i didn't choose a course related to chemistry i was completely invested in studying it well and making sure that i had known it well enough to use in my life after school so i had also applied for the neat exam once i graduated my 12th grade and i also um, attended my neat exam however once i attended my neat exam i uh, understood that my interests uh, do not lie in science rather it uh, it lied somewhere else so which is when i started exploring different um, career uh, different courses which were available at the time and uh, so bba llb was a course which definitely piqued my interest so which is why i had to leave the field of science and i got into uh, the law field so i'm sure that uh, there are a lot of jee and neat aspirants out uh, out there like me and um to anyone who is interested in taking the neat exam i want to impart uh, that definitely your exam marks are not going to be everything so one of the most important uh, 
issues nowadays nowadays is people taking rash decisions when they're not able to uh, ace their uh, neat exams or the jee exams or any other competitive entrance exam uh, it's so it's very important that uh, you understand that these exams mar- exam marks are not going to be everything in your life one piece of sheet or one piece of paper can definitely not uh, decide everything in your life it depends on who you are and all of your skills so uh, to all of those jee and neat aspirants th- the first tip or a trick that i would like to give you is uh, you need to prepare uh, yourself for these exams and for that first you need to understand and read about these exams that you're going to be applying for i have seen a lot of people apply for the exams without actually knowing what the exam is for so that is i think one of the greatest uh, like mistakes that you can do so first that you have to do is it's very important that you understand the exam you're applying for uh secondly you need to make sure that you explore the syllabus uh for which you're going to be attending for so for example if you take neat exam we write the exam for three subjects biology physics and chemistry so you need to understand the syllabus of each and every subject and uh what are the most important concepts and topics uh, which will be focused in the neat exam and secondly um a very important thing that you have to do is to uh make a schedule or a timetable where you list out uh, what are the different subjects or the topics that you're going to be covering in a day and kind of uh, list out the timings and the different subjects the different concepts that you're going to be focusing on so that is very important um another important thing that uh, we lack nowadays is definitely a healthy diet as well as regular exercise so while attending these kind of competitive entrance exams it's it is very uh, easy to lose track of your health and uh, you might start not taking care of your body properly so one of the very important things is to maintain your physical as well as mental health in a proper manner uh, make sure that you have a good and healthy diet uh, regular exercise and you take in lots and lots of water so stay hydrated and stay healthy uh next is that you have to stay completely consistent on what you're preparing for so a lot of people lack consistency so consistency hard work and perseverance is i think the three main things that is required for uh, acing such competitive ex- entrance exams and also make sure that you eliminate any kind of distractions from you but it doesn't mean that you have to keep studying so make sure that there's a balance uh, that you maintain between your entertainment as well as your um study time and um make sure that you are motivated and you are confident enough to crack the exam so uh, just put your mind to it and definitely you will be able to do it and make sure that you are surrounded by people who can motivate and always give you support during a preparation and make sure that you give your best during the preparation and less worry about the results and uh, another a very important tip or a trick for acing these exams is um, going for practice papers or uh, mock tests so it is a uh, it happens to the best of us but uh, you can you can be very well versed and very well informed about your subject but once you're given the question paper you might just become blank because the questions can be uh, can seem to be difficult and it can be quite difficult to understand these uh, questions so in such cases you can definitely get an idea by looking back into the previous years question papers uh, it can definitely help you in understanding the qu- kind of questions that might appear for the exam and another most important tip that you can apply from the very first day of your preparation is managing time so if you know how to manage your time uh, definitely cracking these exams is not going to be difficult for you and it can be done without any kind of stress or anxiety so time management is not only for preparation but also for like how much time you take for attempting each question in exam paper uh because obviously these are uh, time restricted exams so you cannot be spending um a lot of time on one question itself so make sure that you space out your time and uh you give the adequate time that is required for each question so um i would like to extend uh my best of best wishes to all of those neat and jee aspirants who are going to be attending the exam uh believe in yourself uh, be confident and you will be able to ace it and i would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to radha ma'am for letting me uh, share this amazing learning experience with all of you and uh, thank you to everybody who uh, listened to this video and have a great day